Hey there, English learners! Welcome back to Advanced English for Free. In this video, we're going to explore the foundation of English sentence structure, the SVO word order. I'm your host, Riaz, and I'll guide you through this essential topic. By the end of this video, you'll be able to construct simple sentences like a pro. So, what is SVO? Simply put, SVO stands for Subject, Verb, Object. It's the order in which we structure our sentences in English. The subject comes first, followed by the verb, and then the object. Let's look at an example. I eat an apple. Here, I is the subject, eat is the verb, and an apple is the object. Let's break down each component of the SVO structure. The subject is the doer of the action. It's the person, place, thing, or idea that performs the action described by the verb. In our example, I is the subject. The verb is the action itself. It's what the subject does or what happens to the subject. In our example, eat is the verb. The object is the receiver of the action. It's the person, place, thing, or idea that receives the action described by the verb. In our example, an apple is the object. Let's look at some more examples of sentences that follow the SVO word order. She writes a book. Here, she is the subject, writes is the verb, and a book is the object. They play soccer. Here, they is the subject, play is the verb, and soccer is the object. Now. It's your turn. Try identifying the SVO components in these sentences. The dog chases the cat. The teacher gives the student a book. Take a moment to pause the video and think about it. Then, come back and check your answers in the comments below. Now, let's talk about common errors that learners make when constructing sentences in English. One common mistake is putting the verb before the subject. For example, eats the dog the food instead of the dog eats the food. There are also exceptions to the SVO rule. For example, sentences with indirect objects like she gives him a book. Here, him is the indirect object and a book is the direct object. That's it for today's video on SVO sentence structure. I hope you now feel more confident in constructing simple sentences in English. Remember, practice makes perfect, so try building your own sentences using the SVO word order. In our next video, we'll explore more advanced sentence structures, like compound and complex sentences. Don't miss it. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more English grammar videos. Hit the like button if you found this video helpful and share this video with a friend who needs help with English grammar. See you in the next video.